Hi, I'm Becky from Geosoft. This video is about creating upper and lower boundary models to be used as constraints in Voxy. I'm going to show you how to create these constraint models using first a depth grid and then a geosurface. Before we start with our Voxy project, I want to show you the different pieces you will need to create your constraint model. You will need an input voxel for both methods. I've created a master voxel with the dimensions I want and added a constant value of one throughout. You will need a grid with depth as the data. This grid was created from an EM database and shows depth to conductors. You will also need a geosurface file containing closed geosurfaces. These can be created using the new wireframing tools in Target and Oasis Montage 8.0. Now we can start creating our upper and lower bound models in Voxy. To start, I've created a new model from a polygon and have already loaded the data. You can see the DEM, the data points, and the size and shape of the mesh that we are using. Today, we're going to focus on the upper and lower boundary constraints. You can see these in the constraints list here. You will also notice that you have a new menu item called Constraints. We will be using this new menu to create our upper and lower boundary model. Select your input voxel. We're going to start with defining an upper bound model and the name I'm giving my upper bound model is upper underscore grid. Next, make sure you have grid selected for the contact definition and select your depth grid. We're going to specify the values for above and below our contact grid. The units for this value will be the same as your input data you used when setting up your Voxy document. If your input voxel is a voxel containing real values, for example a forward model, you have the option here to add a value to the existing values inside the voxel. For this video, we're going to use a constant value above of 0.001 and below of 0.5. Once we click OK, the new upper constraint model we created will load and you will notice that it automatically activates the upper bound constraint from the constraint list. When you right click on the upper bound constraint and click modify, you will see the name of your upper boundary model. If you want to verify your model, you can clip the upper bound voxel on Data Extents and inspect your contact surface. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a lower boundary model using a geosurface. We're going to select the same master voxel we used for our upper boundary. This time, we're going to create a lower boundary and I'm going to change the name to lower underscore geosurface. Change the contact definition to Geosurface, select your Geosurface file, and the surface itself. Geosurfaces can, can, can contain more than one surface, so make sure you select the correct one. You'll notice this time, instead of asking for the above and below values, after selecting Geosurface, it changes to outside and inside values. We're going to use constant values again. Enter 0.1 for outside and 0.8 for inside. Then click OK. Again, you should notice that the lower boundary model was added automatically to the lower boundary constraint in the constraint list. If you want to verify the results of the lower bound model, you can adjust the data clipping to see the shape of your geosurface. This constraint model you just created does not necessarily need to be used as a lower or upper bound constraint. It might also make sense to use it as a starting model or a parameter reference model. To remove it as a lower boundary model, simply click modify and set the lower bound back to none. Then right click the constraint you want to use it with and click modify and select the lower bound model we just created. In this video, you've seen how to create an upper and lower boundary model using a grid and using a geosurface. Thanks for watching, and please visit our website www.geosoft.com for more videos and other Voxy resources.